Greetings, Faith family, and thank you for joining me on this midweek check-in. Today I'm coming to you from our kitchen because beginning next Tuesday, we're starting our peanut to brittle production. And on those Tuesdays, this is a this is a happening place. We make a lot of peanut brittle in this kitchen. So do, this is just a reminder for all of those who have signed up to help. And if you haven't signed up to help and want to uh, volunteer to be a fill-in when someone's gone, I'm sure we could use your assistance. Just call the church office and, and we'll pass your name along. So peanut brittle begins next Tuesday. A few other announcements I want to mention. October 1st, it's a Saturday, it's 7 o'clock. We're having a movie night here at the church. It's going to be outdoors. We have an outdoor screen that we will use. There is going to be a pie contest. So if you, if you have a good pie recipe and want to be a part of the pie baking contest, we invite you to bring the pie out. I think my wife and I are going to, to work together on this, uh, on this pie. So I think we're going to bring a pie. So I'm, I'm, I'm laying down the gauntlet. Uh, if we have any pie bakers in the church, October 1st, 7 o'clock. Uh, there's going to be a pie contest as well as movie night. There's going to be popcorn. There's going to be a whole bunch of fun stuff. So hope you can join us October 1st. Again, it's going to be outdoors on the north side of the church toward the pavilion. And uh, uh, bring your own chair. It's going to be great. So that is October 1st. Now on October 9th, in between services, beginning at about 9.45, so I'll let you get your coffee or donut or whatever the case might be, but beginning on October 9th, I'm beginning a new members class. Typically, there's a, they, they're only about three weeks long, so it's not a, a long process, but for anybody who wants to know more about the church, who's interested in becoming a member, or just getting to know some, some people a little more um, that are new to the church, uh, that's October 9th. We'll, we'll do it. Um, Again, about 9.45, and I'll have the classroom uh, listed as you come in the doors on that day. So we'll have markers, direction for you as you come in on, on October 9th if you'd like to take part in the new members class. Also, I have some, some prayer requests to lift up. Yesterday, on Tuesday, Jim Steiger had back surgery. Uh, my understanding is he's doing well, so please keep Jim in your thoughts and your prayers. We're continuing to pray for Sherwin Hibbets, who's recovering from lung transplant surgery. Also, uh, Jean Carol Carlson's mother um, is having some health, health concerns, and so please pray for Jean. Also, Joyce Parker, who was recently in the hospital, is home. She's dealing with a, an infection, and so she's home, uh, still taking antibiotics. And then Don Daly had his gallbladder removed last weekend, so please continue to pray for Don. Well, didn't have a lot to share today, but uh, again, just wanted to remind everyone about peanut brittle that begins next Tuesday. And also, I'll just make a plug for the new sermon series. It's entitled How to Read the Bible. Last week, we looked at the, the authors who wrote the Bible, because I think it's important to, to understand that process as we begin diving into the, the scriptures. And this coming Sunday, we're going to be looking at what is the overarching theme of the scriptures which from my viewpoint, it's humanity's creation, fall, and then restoration. So that's what we're gonna be looking at this Sunday. And interestingly, we're gonna be looking at, at that through the Garden of Eden, because that is the, the image that the scriptures give us from Genesis to Revelation. So I hope you can join us this Sunday, at either at 8.30 or 10.45 for that sermon series. Well, let's just close with a word of prayer. Most gracious God, we thank you for this day, even for the rain we're receiving today. I thank you for the life that it brings. I thank you for the everlasting life of, of Jesus Christ, that, uh, that his resurrection has given us the possibility to be with you forever. Dear God, we thank you that you are our healing God, and I pray for Joyce and for Don, for Sherwin, for Jim, and for Jean. Dear God, I pray that you will bless them in ways that are specific to their needs. Dear God, you know them and you know what they need today. And so we pray for your healing touch, for your Holy Spirit to be upon them all. But dear God, I just thank you for this day. And I thank you for my place in your kingdom. And dear God, as we uh, venture through this day, may we take nothing for granted. May this day be a blessing. May this day be an opportunity to see you in a fresh way. So dear God, we thank you for all these things. We especially thank you for your son, Jesus. It's in his name we pray. Amen. God bless. Thank you.